just about ready to go and pitching here today Bailey Falter and singing we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots I've just been so impressed Leading with off, when it seems like the there's more pressure the he's more calm and settles in he's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position most guys they get a little tight they start to aim the baseball but for some reason he gets looser the ball comes out of his hand with more life and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Oh. The shortstop takes the ball one ball one strike. And another ball. Third pitch of this ball game. That one right in the zone. But it's called for a ball, man. That's frustrating. But you got to stay focused. Keep making that pitch. You're going to get the strike call. Kicks and deals. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. The why to kick the pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Still 2 and 2 after the foul ball. Wind in the pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score. Lead off man board on the air. And that puts your pitcher in a little bit of a tough spot right away to start the inning. Not where you want to be. So. We'll see if he's able to work around it and pick the defense up. And now Bader up to the plate. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Huh. On the corner at the knees for a strike. Bader batting second in today's lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. Step off, throw to first. Oh, Lindor back he's easily. Nice. And here it comes. Hey. Late that time, it's strike two. Oh, Lindor gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Oh. And there's a the ball. And it skips in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating... And that one handled. One at second. Back to first. And that is a double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. And Martinez... Swing and he breaks his back. Gonzalez the first in time. That's the third out. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. Back here at PNC Park. And on the mound in this one, David Peterson. How about a scouting report on him? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled. Batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds here. Reynolds. And that one just misses. 
A ball and no strikes. When you're taking your lead over there at first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. The 1-0. And a good eye there. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. There's a strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Belton fires. Stays alive. Yeah, that's outside. And the count's full. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, now he's got two runners on after that walk, yeah, yeah. and things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations, so he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. Here's O'Neill Cruz. That's inside. One ball. ball walk. Okay. On the corner for a strike. No outs, runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two straight. And this is inside. Two ball, two straight. Swinging. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on Not the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And now, Edward Lee Barnes. Swing on, back to They tack on three. It's three nothing. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, it's such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Rowdy Telez in the box now. No balls and a strike. The lefty fires. That one finds the corner. But with two now. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't base. even able to foul one yeah. off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Nick Gonzalez stands in with two away as he takes a ball. <laughs> Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that's going to roll to the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. 
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. This is Joey Bart. That misses the zone. Ball one. Two outs. On the ground, right side. Throws the first in time. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Cannonball coming. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Second inning, go, set go, to man, go. Man. And now it's the, the polar bear, bear, Pete Alonso. Alonso. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Falter, back to work. That one clips the outside corner, and that's strike one. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ballgame. Close no, one, doesn't get the call. And one and one. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boob from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers, they work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff. Tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. pitch Packs and misses it's a strikeout and now it's Mark Vientos just missed one out base is empty And another ball. Oh. Just missed. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Hey, Best ball for a strike. Okay. A flip to the Out. pitcher covering. Two up, two down in the top of the second. That is it. The white right beauty, number 15. Two outs, Tyrone. base is empty. Tyrone Taylor Tyrone. now at the plate. Oh. Edge of the zone, call the strike. No Going One along. Strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Oh, two. The Mets trailing by three here at the top of the second. Right. Swing and a miss. Two. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Mets. They trail it here, three nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh, we head to the bottom of the second. Here's the third baseman, number 19. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. Good eye right the there. 
the hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Next pitch in for a strike. Two and two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. Ball, and ball, ball onto the right fielder. The lefty to 1 0. -oh. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Martinez makes the grab. Out. Number two. Now center fielder. Andrew. There's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. McCutcheon. Scored the first one of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. Clips the corner. It's 0-1. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Two out spaces empty. In the air to left center. Bader should have it. And that's the inning. And we're back. Top half of that. the third inning. The now at the plate, Francisco Alvarez. Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. As the lefty gets to work. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. That slider breaking in could be a tricky pitch if you don't finish it and have that bite at the end. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 3-1. That swing just injected more drama into this one. <laughs> Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Now the veteran third baseman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Oh, he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. The Mets trailing by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Yeah, that's a little high. Falter. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner. Every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. McCutcheon grabs it on the run. That is and that now is here's Jeff McNeil. Yeah, yeah. McNeil. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Whoa. One and one. To the right side. Good solids. Throws the first in time. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Here's Francisco Lindor. He's 0 for 1. That's through there for a strike. Swing 
swings and misses and one down below the zone. And now one and two. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. As we go to the last of the third. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. And a pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little oh. bit of length in this one. And another ball. Oh, Just great. missed. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Fastball for a strike. Three and one. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. And a touchdown for a hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And now the shortstop, O'Neill Cruz. The shortstop takes the ball. And it's second. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Drifts towards it. Makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory. Now foul. The designated hitter. Edward Olivares, the next pirate to hit. He's already homered in this game. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like... Everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. That one finds the zone. Strike one. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. And a pitch. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Oh. Inside almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Reynolds leads off second with one gone in the inning. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. Well. It's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. And now it's Rowdy Telez. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That's in for a strike. opportunities for granted with two outs still lock in with a quality at bat drive in that run you may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ball game two outs and one in scoring position
And on second, two down. Foul ball still 0-2. Left hand hitter waits. Back down on strikes. And that will end the inning. So they work around the leadoff double. On to inning number four. It's the Pirates three and the Mets one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now, Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader. The pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Well, these Mets did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. Pretty good spot, hard and inside, but that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. He's been a great free agent side. Now snap throw to first. Bader dives back. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Oh. Up and in, and that is ball one. The Mets down by a pair, top half of inning number four. No. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And the count is 2-0. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Next offering is in for a strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Here comes a pitch. Hard hit to third. Fires to second oh. for one. Telez, two! If you blink, you might miss it, and that's the magic of the 5 4 3 but double play. It happens so fast, which is a huge reason why this is such a delicate sequence. The entire play will break down if one person has bad timing. Here's Pete Alonso. That's down and in. Alonso, 29 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2016. The pitch. Foul ball. The wind of the pitch. This one in the air right field. Sawinski sizes this one up. He's got it. And that is out number three. Here at PNC Park, bottom four, and here is Nick Gonzalez. Nick. Oh, one really cool moment I remember at PNC Park is the 2006 home run derby during All Star Weekend. David Ortiz and Ryan Howard each hit homers into the Allegheny River on the fly. Really awesome to watch. Swings and sends a rocket to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. There's Joey Bart now. Grounded out his first time. That That's one misses. Ball. One and oh. One ball. No strike. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Pitch misses outside. Two balls, no strikes. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Now that's smack to right center. Taylor calls it in, and there's two away. Now, now batter, third base. 
Down the third baseman. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Two down, nobody on. That's towards center. Bader should have it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Ready now for the Maybe fifth inning. Ahead. And stepping in the for New York, hitter. Mark Vientos. Mark. Viento. Falter back to work. That oh. misses. And that's ball one. Pirates with a new arm on the mound. Martin Perez. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of them right here to get some critical outs. And he deals. Missed with a changeup. Now 2-0. Well, these Mets just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. He was all over that one. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now it's the right fielder, Tyrone Taylor. In there at the knees. That's strike one. Vientos gets his lead at first with nobody out. In the air, left field down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away okay. and wasn't able to stay close. Now a catcher up to hit. Francisco Alvarez. He's already homered here in this one. Turned on, but foul wide of third. The pitch off the plate and a count even one and one. The Pirates up by two and we're at the top of the fifth. That one hit to right. He makes the grab and there's two away. Now that third baseman. Okay. Here's the third baseman. Inside, just missed. Just missed. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Vientos around second, headed for third. Headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and it's a one-run game. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice yeah. job of going the other way. McNeil. So two down. Jeff McNeil digs in now. 
High fly ball, right field. This could go the distance. Home run. He powers that one out of here. And they've rallied from three back. It's 4-3. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. A new arm into the game, the righty, Jared Jones. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. That what misses. Ball one. Just no, missed. Ball. Ripped on a line to center. McCutcheon makes the play, and that is that. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. 4-3 New York. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the inning at the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. The line in the pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bounce back up there. Sneak through, base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. One for two. And that one fouled off. Well, Boog, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. Sawinski on at first. Nobody out. Next oh, offering right. upstairs. That's out to center field. Sizing this one up. Squeezes it. One away. Up next is his pitch. No left field. Brian. So up next, Brian Reynolds. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. First offering. Runner goes. Ball misses. Oh, save. Okay. Really nice swipe for second right there. He knew he had to get a really good jump on the pitcher because that catcher can make up some time. And such a good catch and throw guy behind the dish. Nice job right there, but he just beat it. Tying run in scoring position. Last half of inning number five. Still second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock, you add a run. Up next for the Pirates, O'Neill Cruz. Fought off foul.
Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the Mets bullpen. Jake Diekman, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Tied at four. And that's down and away. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Kicks and fires. Bows it off, still one and two. One out and a runner at second. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Oh. And another ball. This to third. Tosses across the first. He made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher. Bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH, Edward Olivares. One. A little out front there as he swings oh, through. Okay. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here, make sure that he can barrel off the ball. Two outs. Got him looking. They limit the damage here. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. The line of the pitch. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Activity in the bullpen. Josh Fleming loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Skeens getting loose as well. Outside corner for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. That one just misses. Well, as a pitcher, when you make a big pitch down around the knees and don't get the call, it'll lead at you out there. So some handle it a little bit better than others. And right here, clearly letting the ump hear it a little bit. Just misses the mark outside the zone. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. And the pitch. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Jones throws over. Bader dives back. Martinez up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. A mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. Righty to the plate. 
right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. Tied at four. And a count one and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The one two. That's legend. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Next to hit, Pete Alonso. Bounce to third, and that chance handled. On the second, they get run. On the Telez, and the double play ends the end. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. And we're back. Well, we go bottom six. Now here is Rowdy Telez. As he turns on the rubber, you know, with that good live arm delivers. One ball. That okay. misses the zone, and it's 1-0. Oh. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Sean Manaya, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Adcock, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Kicks and deals. Ball. And that's outside. Okay. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. The wind to kick the 2 0. Oh, oh. Just missed. He walked him on four pitches. Well, this came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. David Peterson done for the afternoon, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. They turn things over to the southpaw, Jake Deepman. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Nick Gonzalez, the next pirate to hit. And that one fouled off. And now the lefty. That one catches the zone. That is strike two. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation running on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. With the go-ahead run at first, here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now Man, uh, there was no it. deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. So digging in, Joey Bart. Oh. Just missed. Telez leads off first with one away. Next pitch is outside. There's a strike. Hey. 
swings through that one out in front that time. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Hood gets talked about a lot. Now a that. good high Four fastball baby. in a two-strike situation. Man. It's just become Three. such oh. a problem for hitters in more recent years. With all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. This one lifted in the air, left field. Martinez moves towards it. And that is the third out of the inning. So one left for Pittsburgh. Score remains tied at four. Back here in Pittsburgh, top of inning number seven, digging in, Mark Vientos. The right hander back to work. And that's in for a strike. Jones, in his rookie season, he features a four seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. A oh, slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. And that one hammered. That's back there. And out of here. His 11th of the year, it's 5-4. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Taylor getting ready to hit. That one finds the zone, and it's a 1-1. Well, it was exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Righty delivers. That one fouled off. But why to kick the pitch? Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Good work on the three pitch strikeout right there. Started him with the slider in the zone and jump ahead, then sped him up with the fastball for strike two. And at that point, you can go a lot of different directions. He put him in the rocking chair by going back to the slider, this time out of the zone, and got him a chase for the punch out. Here's the power hitting catcher, Francisco Alvarez. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? Just off the outside edge, and that is ball one. And strike one to the catcher. One ball, one strike. One out, base is empty, and a run in here at the top half of inning number seven. Outside low, two and one. Uh, Late on that fastball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. This one in the air center field. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Now the third baseman. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Oh. 
One run game, one out, one on. Fouled off. He was late. And here it comes. Here's a high fly ball out to center. McCutcheon after it. McCutcheon makes the catch. Jeff McNeil stands in. Yeah. McNeil. First pitch just misses. Alvarez off the of first with two away. Now this is in the air down the line. Sawinski settles underneath it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 5-4 ball game. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now, Jack Sawinski. The pitch. One and ball. that's in the dirt. Perfect. That one inside. Okay. And it's 2 and 0. Oh. He ball. never moved because okay. he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Looking to get the tying run on base. Oh. And another Three ball. Up. Andrew McCutcheon waits on deck. Clips the zone, and the count is three and one. And that one fouled off. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Here comes a three two. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, he two balls, it. and no what strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start it. against a new batter. But he needs to get back oh, into the strike man. zone and start pitching now, with conviction. So out of the pen comes the right hander, Ty Adcock. He's making his second appearance of the season. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. McCutcheon in the box now takes strike one and I know you want to be patient as a hitter but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight and he got one right there but left the bat on his shoulder slider misses outside swings through the fastball up in the zone it might be time to choke up a little bit get that front foot down early maybe even just spread out he's really late right now fights it off you'll see another got him swinging for the strikeout Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Oh, well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. With the go-ahead run at the plate, here the bottom of the seventh. Good eye right there. No, oh, he's really working him away. This at bat sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And a one-one. Strike three, got him swinging. 
That's out number two. Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these now days. So many guys no throwing in the upper oh, 90s, yeah. and you see the velocity on that one just tough to catch up to. I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. O'Neill Cruz, the next Pirate to hit. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. That smash towards center. Balls it in to end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Mets five and the Buccos four. Welcome back and a new arm of the mound to start the eight. Number Paul Steens. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Back to the top of the Mets order, and now it's Frankie Lindor. Francisco Lindor. And the pitch. Way inside. Well, the adrenaline's pumping right there. Pretty good fastball. Unfortunately, he got away from him. He's going to have to corral things a little bit. Well, and that's outside. And now 2 0. Oh. No. And a good eye there. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. So up next, Harrison Bader. This is again five in a row. Action in the pen down there. Josh Fleming loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Checks the runner. Lidor back in there. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Anything but pretty right no, there, no. but he'll take no, it no. every time. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And here is J.D. Martinez. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. A little bit high. And that's ball know. one. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Lindor over at second. Bader at first with no outs. That one finds the zone, one and it's ball. one and one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a That's very good read and can determine one whether one. or not he can score on that base hit. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Three ball, one that one not close. Ball three. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. The hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Three, two. Struck him out looking. And a big sigh of relief from the mound with that call third strike. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that. But just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. And now here is oh, Pete Alonso.
This one high in the air to left center. And that takes care of Alonzo. And there are two down. And now the Mets DH, Mark Vientos. He sent one out of here in the seventh. Yeah, big moment in this game as well. It was a great swing and one of the reasons why they're out in front and looking to add on right here. First offering misses badly for ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Two on, two outs. Wouldn't chase that time. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. 2 0. That one to first. He'll do it himself. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. Two left for the Mets. They lead it 5 4. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Reed Garrett. And he's been really now, shutting down forward. hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, mm -hmm. not a lot of hits, yeah. period. At the plate for Cuthbert, Edward Olivares. Going down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. And a pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on now it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Rowdy. Here's Rowdy Telez. First oh, offering and it just misses. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Stuart Lawson, the closer, is getting loose. Holding on to a one-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. And another ball. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is pitch. an excellent pace. So digging in, Nick oh, Gonzalez. Gets the call. Going one. the ground is short Lindor slings the first inning over so they go quietly there ninth inning coming up it's the Mets five and the Buccos four We're back. It's the top of the nine. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Colin Holderman. Well, you see the ERA very solid. And that doesn't always tell you the whole story, but he's been really good so far this year. And stepping in for New York, Tyrone Taylor. The right three pitch strikeout last time up. Gotta put up more of a fight in this one. And he deals. Fastball for a strike. One one. And that one pulled foul. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach.
caught it looking for the K. No time to struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to fly. She just hasn't looked very comfortable out there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Alvarez in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. That missed by a lot. Yeah, that's ball two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throws across the diamond. That was a strong at bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. Well, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Out to short. Throw over to Telez, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for him there. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. It's the Mets five, and the Buccos four. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Stuart Lawson. A chance in his first save of the year. Number 51, Stuart Lawson. Here's the Pirates catcher now, Joey Bart. The catcher. Bart. Here comes a pitch. Right through there for a strike. No ball. One strike. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing at two. One run game, bottom nine. That's off the ball. mark there. And yeah, the count, one and one two. Ball. That's a Great. really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. It's going to make that pitcher really <laughs> Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And it kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. And that one upstairs. So two balls okay. and no strikes. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. That's ripped into the outfield. Into the dive, and he got it. Hitter's got a broken heart on that one. It had base hit written all over. Maybe extra bases. Great diving catch for the upset. So they're down to their final out. And now the right fielder, Jack Sawinski. 
He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save.